What's going on everybody? So, in two days we will be on a flight to Uganda, Africa. Get a lot of questions as to where we're going, what we're doing, why we're going, uh, what Soul Hope is all about, and what we take. So I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about some of the things that we take. Of course we pack our normal suitcase and carry on that type of thing that we carry our personal items in. But we also carry these totes. This time we'll be carrying seven of these totes. The most common thing we get with the totes is people will ask, is it medical supplies? Not really. It's really a wide range of things for uh, various aspects of the Soul Hope operations. Things for staff, partners of Soul Hope, other organizations at times. These totes are an integral part of our trips to Soul Hope. I have a love-hate relationship with these totes. They are each close to 50 pounds. So we load these up, we take them to the airport with us. We unload them, carry them through the airport on rolling carts, and we check these just like you would check a suitcase. That's 350 pounds of checked luggage plus our suitcase and our carry-on, so it can be a chore. Once we check those in in Atlanta, we will pick them up when we get to Entebbe. Take the totes, we load them on a vehicle, and they're carried to a guest house where we stay, and then on to Jinja, where we stay for the rest of the trip. I hope this is informative. I hope you guys can kind of get a little insight on what this whole Soul Hope trip is about. It's hard for me to say Soul Hope sometimes. Uh, I'm a little Southern, and sometimes I run those two words together. Sheraton Hotel. We have to unload all this stuff and put it on a shuttle so we can get to the airport. We did make it no rain. We have about 500 pounds of check baggage that we have to unload, relocate, get to the airport, get checked in. We have seven totes and three or four suitcases and bags and cameras and such. So Amy went in to see where we're supposed to park where we need to unload this stuff so we can get on the shuttle the process of getting these totes to uganda continues here we go and so far long we need to speak where people can understand you what'd she say you're gonna have to go all the way to the back to park if you want to pull up and let's unload um this stuff and get your stuff out and then you can go park and come back okay. and we are on our way in the rough riding shuttle to the terminal. So here's all of our tips.
we are in the airport in Amsterdam, Netherlands. We have a, about another hour or so before we get on our plane here. I think everybody's feeling pretty good. We didn't get a lot of sleep on that last flight, but I don't think anybody's really ill yet. Everything's good. We're ready to get to Entebbe for sure. Tonight, we've got um, two more flights. we got a flight to... You know what? I'm not sure where we're flying to next. I think it's Rwanda. I don't know. I haven't even looked, honestly. And then we're flying to uh, Entebbe after that. We'll get to Entebbe really late and check in our guest house for the night. So just ready to get this next flight underway, get on this next plane. So we are getting massages in the massage chair. After an eight hour flight from Atlanta to Amsterdam, and we're about to get on another plane for another eight or nine hours, so thought we'd take advantage of these massage chairs and see what this is all about. Okay, so this is what the massage chair. And the best part is the leg part. Oh, wait, there's a screen up there. I don't know what that's doing. So, Avery, what was the your favorite part of the massage chair and what did it do for you? It helped get like the tension out of my back. And what else? That's it. What about the other parts that needed to release? 